And welcome back. Uh, Mark Taylor Canfield's on the line from Seattle. Mark, you've got an update on what's going on in Seattle? Yeah, Tom, a lot has happened since I talked to you last. We have a new police chief, Adrian Diaz, after Carmen Best resigned and over 15,000 complaints filed against the Seattle Police Department. Uh, but it doesn't seem like the police have backed off one bit from confronting protesters because they arrested 27 people on Labor Day at a demonstration outside of the Seattle Police Guild office, the headquarters there. And also, the, some insurance companies are now threatening to downgrade Seattle's insurability rating because of so many lawsuits against the Seattle Police Department and the city. So it's an economic and also a legal liability. And yet, amid all of this, um, Tom, it's hard to believe, but even amidst this and in the middle of a recall campaign against Mayor Jenny Durkin, she actually vetoed the Seattle City Council's budget cuts and personnel cuts to the Seattle Police Department. So she's standing firm as supporting the police no matter what. Uh, she's not going to back down. She's become a very recalcitrant uh, person uh, here in terms of civil rights and police reform. And it's really sad to see that considering that she ran on a very progressive agenda uh, during her campaign. But she's being challenged next year in 2021, and um, I don't think she's looking very popular right now. We also have some problems with the Washington State. So, Mark, State I have a question for you. Because yes. we're, we're, we're confronting similar situations here in Oregon, and I don't want to uh, ever turn my show into a, just a Seattle and Portland show. Um, but, right. uh, you know, I guess we're kind of stuck with this for a minute. You know, we, speaking of, you know, like, you know, the city of Portland and the city of Seattle, as long as, you know, property damage and great footage for Fox News and Donald Trump advertisements continues being produced every single night, we're going to have a hell of a challenge and we're going to be losing more and more support among average voters. So, you know, it's a tough one, Mark. It's a real tough one. Thanks a lot for the call. We'll be back. It's 10 minutes before the hour. Stick around. The hidden history of Monopoly tells how Robert Bork, yeah, that guy from the Reagan era, transformed corporate America and destroyed the American dream.